Good morning. Welcome to this YLAB Huawei JAC workshop on Intelligent IoT for 6G. My name is Roberto Verdone. I'm director of YLAB, the National Laboratory of Wireless Communications. And through this presentation, I will give you um, an introduction to YLAB, what is YLAB. Then I will tell you about our vision of society needs for the next 10 years, so for the 6G society. And then I will describe our current uh, projects. So let me start by telling a few words about YLAB. YLAB was established during 2020 uh, in Bologna by CNIT, the National uh, Inter-University Consortium for Telecommunications. It was established in January 2020, so it was one year ago. And uh, uh, YLAB gathers the uh, resources, the infrastructures, the competence of um, the University of Bologna, the University of Ferrara, and the IIIT, which is a, a, an institute of the National Research Council, which is located in Bologna. So our three main sites are in Ferrara, Cesena, and Bologna, in the heart of uh, uh, Emilia-Romagna uh, region, which is a very important region from the industry viewpoint, because we are in the center of the Data Valley of Europe, and in the center of the Motor Valley and the Packaging Valley of Italy, which means that we have a lot of contacts with uh, major uh, industry stakeholders. Uh, YLAB is managed by uh, my colleagues and friends, Professor Marco Chiani, Professor Andrea Conti, Dr. Alberto Zanella, and me. Uh, as I said, it's based on uh, three sites, actually, uh, the, at the University of Bologna, both the campus in Cesena and in Bologna is active, and then the University of Ferrara and the National Research Council. And it gathers the competencies from these groups uh, after 30 years of common research activities in the fields of mobile radio networks, Internet of Things, localization and tracking. The mission of YLAB, the long-term mission, is basically um, uh, based on five points. First, we are willing to become a focus of attraction in Italy for stakeholders in the global wireless research community, which means that we want to attract companies to come and invest in uh, our region on um, research in wireless communications. Second, we want to become an innovation point for companies in the field of Industry 4.0. So for companies in uh, the field of automotive, uh, mechatronics, we want to become a reference point. Third, we know we are a center of excellence in research. We want to be recognized by regional and national public administrations. Fourth, we are willing to contribute to relevant national and international regulatory and standardization bodies. And finally, we are willing to act as an outpost for innovative teaching. Uh, we have already, after the first year, established a number of important um, contracts. Uh, and our main partners are uh, reported here. Huawei, which is co-organizing this workshop with us today. Um, Telecom Italia and JMA, which is JMA Wireless, is a company located in Bologna, which is growing fast, with uh, which we had um, an agreement, which in the long term intends to attract to Bologna and Ferrara and Cesena um, uh, many students to our courses at the university and many researchers in our labs. Our history is based on, as I said, 30 years of uh, um, common research background. We, in fact, inherit scientific and technical knowledge about wireless communication systems uh, from a group which was, which was founded uh, nearly 30, 35 years ago. And YLAB so leverages on the collaboration of researchers and the capability to develop test beds for wireless networks. Uh, what you see in this slide is the list of research topics which currently are um, addressed by our research projects. I'm not going to read them. We span from uh, mobile radio networks, 5G towards 6G, uh, the Internet of Things, crowd sensing, uh, industrial IoT, and so on and so forth. One of the mottos of our uh, research paradigm is 
from theory to practice. Indeed, whenever we perform research, we always start from application. We always start from the usefulness of our um, uh, research goals. We always start from the definition of the application domain where our technologies will be um, developed. Starting from the applications, then uh, we move to the theoretical foundations of our models, to the system modeling, algorithm design, and on-field demonstration, which is always the, the final goal of our research projects. We have a number of infrastructures that we have put together when we established YLAB one year ago. Uh, an important regional company, Lepida, provides its network of uh, optical fibers, of uh, radio links, Wi-Fi hotspots. Then we have uh, um, an anechoic chamber. We have a large uh, hall that we use for drone experiments, and we have a lot of uh, um, instrumentation for uh, our tests. And from the viewpoint of collaborations, we have a lot of international research centers that are collaborating with us, both in Europe and in the US and Asia. Um, there's a number of enterprises and small medium enterprises which are um, collaborating with us in the Motor Valley, in the Data Valley, in the Packaging Valley of uh, our region. We have strong liaisons with telecommunication operators and other stakeholders. Uh, so in essence, our activities uh, refer to fundamental and applied research. We do develop innovative solutions for industrial applications. We have a number of industry contracts, and, but we also organize scientific events like workshops, hackathons, and so on and so forth. As I said, there are basically four sites, four research groups, which have federated their activities uh, within YLAB. One is the group which I lead at the University of Bologna, uh, which is made of a number of people working in the area of the Internet of Things and mobile radio networks. The other group from the University of Bologna is led by my colleague, Professor Marco Chiani in Cesena, uh, dealing with communication technologies uh, and the Internet of Things for 6G. Then at the University of Ferrara, Professor Andrea Conti is coordinating a group with expertise in the field of context awareness and localization and communication networks. And then finally, at the National Research Council, Dr. Alberto Zanella uh, coordinates a group of people working in the area of connected vehicles, localization, and 6G smart radio environments. So let me now move to the uh, second part of, my, of this introduction, which is our vision of society needs in the next 10 years, because we believe that in order to build 6G, you first need to realize what society needs in the coming uh, 10 years. So first of all, let me say that we believe that men should be put in the center of the figure. We believe that uh, humans should be central in the definition of the goals of 6G. There's a number of important um, references which I might mention. Uh, the last encyclic by Francis Pope, for instance, or the um, sustainable uh, de development goals of the um, United Nations. All of them define the aspects which should be considered the society needs for the coming years. Inclusion is living our key um, keywords from our viewpoint in order to make easier and greener and safer our society. Uh, in fact, uh, there are already research centers working in the area of the Internet of Senses and the Internet of Feelings or Emotions, if you prefer, which is actually some of the, um, the, 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 the directions that could be taken as long as the society needs, which are uh, human-centric, are clearly defined. So uh, other keywords which I might express, which should drive research in the coming years in the, in the field of wireless communications, refer to culture, art and entertainment, empathy, human touch and affinity. 
On the other hand, we know very well that 5G in several years is the new technology which is actually characterized by a different set of keywords. Speed, faster communication. 5G is an enabler for machine-to-machine uh, -machine applications. And so connected cars, industry 4.0 are the keywords which we are using mostly these times. So there's a sort of mismatch between the keywords, which we believe should come into play in the coming years with respect to the ones that we hear every day in the research community these years. So we believe that 6G should be able to cover somehow this um, sort of mismatch um, and uh, report a proper balance uh, uh, in terms of the attention posed to machines with respect to humans. Having provided this general vision, now let me enter into the topic of uh, the current projects that YLAB, after one year of activity, has established. Uh, first of all, uh, I have to mention the YLAB Huawei Joint Innovation Center, JAC, on Intelligent IoT for 6G, that we have established in October 2020, so two months ago, uh, with Huawei. Uh, this is actually the reason why today we will uh, dedicate this workshop to this JIC because it was established very recently and it's something which um, uh, will allow to us for 10 years to work in the direction of 6G and year after year um, uh, put on the ground the uh, vision that I have expressed earlier. Indeed, the Joint Innovation Center has a uh, duration of 10 years from 2020 to 2030 and will accompany Huawei effort to, towards uh, standardization of 6G. It is co-directed by Dr. Wen Tong, which will, who will give a, um, a talk uh, after this introduction of YLAB and uh, myself. Uh, within the GEC, we move our research efforts in terms of theoretical foundations, simulations, experimentation uh, in the direction of four different, um, say, poles. We will address aspects of multiple access, topology, uh, uplink transmission enhancement of IoT uh, applications, and joint communication and sensing. So let me start introducing very quickly, one by one, the projects that we are currently defining, uh, actually the kickoff of these projects will happen in few days after this workshop. Uh, today, during the workshop, uh, one session is dedicated to each of these um, uh, projects, so we'll just mention the title so far. Uh, the first one is on massive multiple access for 6G. The second one is uh, dedicated to vehicular communications. It's about non-orthogonal resource allocation techniques for sidling cellular V2X. The third one is about 3D networks where UAV drone based base stations will serve future networks. The fourth is about joint sensing and communication. The fifth is about enabling URLLC for intermachine industrial IoT applications. And then we have one which deals more with the core network rather than the radio access part of the network. And the title is From Cloud Native Applications Orchestration to Beyond 5G Automated Network Management. We also have one more project which is dedicated to uh, meta surfaces and holographic radio. All of these projects are tightly interconnected. There are a number of overlaps and synergies among them, and they uh, describe uh, research, our research intentions, towards different types of KPIs that you find mentioned in this slide. Uh, some of them are dedicated to device density, some of them to latency aspects or reliability or accuracy aspects, other to uh, battery duration, which is a, an essential aspect of IoT applications. Most of them are based on AI approaches. 
Having said this, this is the set of JIC projects that will be discussed in the next few hours along the full day workshop we have organized today. Uh, and these are the JIC projects that will be running in the coming uh, few years within the JIC. <clears throat> However, let me mention that at YLAB we have already established in the past uh, few months uh, some other projects. A number of them, I will actually mention only a few of them just to give you a glimpse of what is the full picture of activities that we are currently um, addressing. First of all, we have signed an important agreement with Telecom Italia, which is going to be renewed for the coming two years. And it's about uh, MDT data, uh, minimization of drive test, uh, is the uh, meaning of this acronym. This project is about the usage of statistical data taken from uh, user equipment for 5G self-organizing networks. Basically, uh, from real-world team data, we extract statistics uh, of uh, several types of uh, um, data and KPIs, which are georeferentiated, and based on them, we do optimize um, uh, through a SON approach uh, some of the radio resource allocation techniques of 5G, including, for instance, uh, beamforming. Another project which I would like to mention is actually a combination of different activities that we perform with uh, FEV Italy, which is the Italian branch located in Bologna uh, of uh, FEV, a large company in the field of automotive. Uh, of automotive. Uh, but th this uh, project actually gathers also contracts with Siemens, with the car-to-car -car consortium, and uh, also with ETSI, the, the standardization body. This is about vehicular communications, um, but actually it's about the usage of vehicular communications for greener and safer cars. Imagine a, 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 a next generation car using an hybrid um, powertrain, uh, which has to optimize the powertrain based on information coming from traffic lights, coming from roadmaps, coming from the behavior of other vehicles in the vicinity, coming from information which is in the cloud, services which are in the cloud. Uh, this requires a lot of information um, uh, for the connected car, which is not used for, um, uh, for platooning or other applications, but it is used for uh, making uh, safer and greener uh, um, the, the, the the use of our vehicles. And then I would like to mention another project, an internal project, where we deal with terahertz communication for safer industrial IoT, where machines and humans cooperate safely in an industry environment. So let me say that overall, uh, what we are currently building is a set of research activities which are aimed at an easier, greener and safer uh, environment. Uh, so somehow we are starting building a vision, a set of projects and activities which go in the direction of making easier, greener and safer the environment for the humans in the future. So we are starting building uh, the vision that I was mentioning later. Though there are still a number of things that we would like to do that we didn't start yet. And let me mention that every six months, the JAC with, with Huawei is ready to accept new proposals for new projects to launch. And so there are still things that we are going to uh, establish in the coming uh, months based on this vision we have in mind. So having said this, now let me conclude by saying a few words about the worship, uh, which I'm going to launch now. The program is available on our website, whileup.knit.it under activities. Uh, we have more than 350 participants. We have 12 talks. Every talk will be composed of a video which, is, which has been pre-recorded and then a question and answer session. However, in order to be very efficient and interactive, please do use the chat of the Teams platform for making questions and comments during the video. 
so that during the video and at the end, the speaker who will be um, on uh, active uh, during the video presentation will be ready for providing uh, um, uh, answers and comments to your comments. So do interact during the videos via the Teams chat. The program is organized in mini sessions, each one dedicated to one of the six projects I mentioned earlier. However, there are two additional, um, two additional um, sessions. One is going to be launched in one minute and uh, includes, first of all, a keynote speech by Dr. Wen Tong from Huawei, and then uh, a session managed by Dr. Riccardo Trevisonno of uh, Huawei, uh, who will um, have two speakers uh, dealing with network AI topics. At the end of the day, we have one additional session with two additional topics uh, dedicated to other aspects of uh, beyond 5G and 6G uh, research. So having said this, uh, this is all from my side and I'm ready to launch the next presentation, which will be given by Dr. Wen Tong, uh, CTO of Huawei Wireless. Uh, we all know very well Dr. Wen Tong for his research activities. Uh, he is IEEE fellow. Uh, he is a very well-known member of our research community. So for the sake of brevity, I will give the words to him for um, his own uh, presentation about intelligent IoT for 6G. Thank you very much. Enjoy the workshop.